both genera uh, generic uh, class and interface. And uh, for this, I am going to <coughs> use arithmetic operations on both uh, uh, digits and uh, matrix. For this, I, because the program is very huge, I am not going to code uh, uh, code any, uh, only going through my codes. For this, I am going to use a, a class variable, call it two objects, and the parameter is a uh, generic parameter T. I am going to define fields like N and S and the matrix A and B and I have a empty construction another construction uh, is going to give us the uh, entered the digits and matrices and we are going to initiate those variables then I am going to make a uh, interface, generic interface, I operation, and it has parameter T, and we are going to uh, define or declare uh, methods, add, subtract, multiply, divide on digits, and for uh, uh, for matrix, I am going to uh, call it tall, and it's inherit. I am going to define another class, and it inherits I operation, which is this one, and it is operation over digits. And in that, I have a add operation, and uh, because uh, we are going to use our uh, def uh, we are not going to use default uh, uh, type t is a uh, t can take any type and for this i am going to use add and if type of uh, we have type of integer or type of long then we are going to convert the t we are going to convert and we are going to <coughs> convert A as a digit uh, and it has the type long or integer both of A and B and uh, we are going to <coughs> if the type is integer we are going to use that expression if it is uh, decimal or double we are going to use that expression and as you see because this is add we are going to use plus we are going to use plus otherwise we return default only t only then is subtraction it is the same as addition while we use minus and we are going to check if the type is integer or long we are going to take the first number minus the second number and if it is double or decimal we are going to use also after conversion correct conversion we are going to use uh, the first number minus the second number and in multiply, we are going to use the same expression while we have used the multiple uh, uh, sign. And for division, we are going to use the same expression uh, by using the division sign. Okay, N now we are going to uh, call a class matrix with uh, I operation with T as matrix and in this I am going to use uh, uh, call a type uh, 
make a object type of uh, the generic and then we have a string and we are going to add matrix we are going to use default we are going to use a we are going to define a matrix with new mean of a or b matrix a or b which is here a or b and um, um, mean uh, mean of uh, a length one and the b length one this creates matrix and we are going to use the s as addition and uh, we are going to use if uh, f2 for loops <coughs> and we are going to use the result equals to add internal we are going to call a method add internal a of ij and b of ij and then we are going to print the result with the result length and this one and then variable s which is addition so for this i am going to show first add internal in add internal we are going to use the same expression as before uh, to find the type of uh, uh, matrix A and we are going to plus the matrix B after uh, uh, after changing the type of uh, B as long or as double and it is plus between because that one we can also instead of that we can also uh, use that add if you want it because uh, we call it uh, we call it the um, uh, in that um, in that expression we call it uh, two uh, digits two integers or digits but I have used it an internal to get back the the, the result must be a, a value and then we are going to print and the print is a print print is here we are going to have a matrix and the item of rows the item of columns and the string and a string is we are going to tell that the summation or addition is and we are going to read all those uh, columns and rows and we are going to use uh, to print uh, the matrix in subtraction we have the same we are going to make a uh, create a matrix of uh, a long and b long and then uh, we are going to subtract and call the subtraction internal and then print and subtraction internal is as the same as add internal we are going to given the correct uh, uh, correct uh, type of A and B and we are going to use minus if it is the double we are going to uh, uh, convert to a correct double and uh, we are going to decre uh, decrease um, uh, A from B then after that we are going to 
print and in multiple in multiple we have uh, <coughs> arrows or columns b rows b columns and multiplication and if uh, uh, a column columns or matrix a is not equals to uh, the item of uh, rows in ma matrix B, we are going to get an error message that it cannot be uh, uh, multiplicated or uh, pro uh, multiplicated. Otherwise, we are going to define, make, create a matrix of uh, all rows and B columns, and we are going to have a for loop and first result is the result uh, of uh, that element is zero and then we are going to use multiplication of uh, both these uh, elements or uh, yes digits and in and after that we are going to print it out but what is the multiplication internal multiplication internal here we are going again if it is integer we are going to uh, change the, the type as long and both for i and b and multiply if it is decimal uh, or double we are going to um, make a correct use a correct uh, type of A and B and multiply. In div uh, division of matrix, we know that uh, A divided by B is A multiple by B inverse, inverse of inverse of uh, B. That is because we are going to use the return multiply A and matrix inverse B and for inverse of matrix it's a uh, it's a very uh, it uh, we use the matrix the composition and uh, we are going to in matrix inverse we are going to use uh, define a variable p of type of double and uh, we have an integer to have the item of rows and the result is matrix duplicate matrix and in duplicate we are going to clone a matrix and we are going to use we have the matrix here and in for loop, to for loop, we are going to duplicate or clone the matrix. After that, we define a, a array per as per permutation and a toggle, and we are going to uh, define a, a loom LUM, which is a uh, This is the LU matrix, e, the composition, and we are going to call the matrix the composition matrix perm and target. And in the composition, in the composition, we are going to have a rows and columns of the matrix, and if row and column is not equal we are going to get a error message that ma matrix is not a square because the matrix must be square to be inverted and we are going to have a rows and the result we are going to duplicate matrix and the permutation is the uh, item of uh, uh, rows and then we are going to uh, use the 
use the permutation with all those from 0 until n and we are going to use toggle 1 1 is greater than even minus 1 great, greater than odds and we are going to use this these ones as uh, use another column mat matrix to make the diagonal absolute ab uh, make them uh, positive and uh, and we are going to have the p rows which uh, p was defined it was p someplace defined We are going to use uh, p rho, which is defined here, and we are going to use the absolute value of um, the result, and we are going to compare to column maximal value of uh, column, and we are going to put it here, and we are going to make the p rho equals to i because i starts from j plus 1 until n and uh, for the composition you can use the you can search in uh, wikipedia to find out uh, how we can use the uh, the composition on uh, matrix and if it is uh, greater if greatest value not on the pivot we are going to swap the rows that it can be it's uh, uh, something in the composition and uh, then we are going to use uh, the find a good row to swap and uh, we are going to uh, swap uh, we must swap uh, a lot a lot of thing because we are going to use the lower uh, lower triangle we are going to make the uh, matrix as lower triangle and upper triangle that is because we use uh, all those the uh, all those the uh, uh, of those expression and uh, we are going to after all those uh, happening uh, if diagonal of the swap is zero we are going to use uh, another method to make, uh, make them uh, complete and when then we are going to uh, use the wide interval of uh, those two uh, elements which are integer and it is only here we are going to convert them if it is integer we are going to convert them and then we are going to use that uh, divisions uh, symbol and absolute uh, inter internal is also we are going to use the uh, absolute value of uh, by using mathematics absolute of the parameters after the composition we are going to use the we have received the matrix and we are going to use multiply internal 
pivot or permutation permutation and uh, the the value of the element of the in uh, diagonal and uh, if loom is null or uh, the conversion is zero then it is not uh, is unable to compute uh, inverse otherwise we are going to use the for loop to conversion of uh, perm if i equals the perm then it take i is 1 otherwise 0 and we are going to use the helper soul of loom and b that loom and that b and the helper soul helper soul uh, we are going to copy b in x and we are going to use a summation of a subtract and multiply of a loom matrix and x and then we are going to use division of this variable and this variable and after that we are going to make a summation after that we are going to put the result uh, the result of that uh, element uh, that uh, array in result after that after uh, division after that we are going to use multiply a in inverse b and it is that one Now we are ready with all our uh, methods and uh, classes and we are going back to main method and we make a while loop and we are going to ask enter two digits and we are going to put it in S and split it with uh, uh, by spaces between them and uh, we are going to uh, define tall which is the which is a class tall here which is the class tall here and we are going to given the generic variable as double and then we are going to use the sum is and we are going to call the methods t add and if it is subtraction t subtract if it is multiplication t multiple if it is division t divide all of them are uh, methods in tall which we define it before and show it it is there and then uh, after that we are going to ask uh, enter the first matrix and we are going to read the whole console input in A and then we are going to ask the second matrix and we are going to read 
the console in B and we are going to define an object M of type matrix and matrix was uh, defined here here is the matrix class we are going to make an object and we are going to call the uh, methods add, subtract, multiply and division and we are going to after that we are going to ask you if you want continue with new values then you are going yes or no and the loop is going now we are going to run this program It's running here. two digits I use 15 5 sum is 20 subtraction 10 multiplication 75 division is 3 and it is correct now I use 1 2 3 4 the second is the uh, 5 6 7 8 and the addition you can be see that the addition is correct 5 plus 1 6 plus 2 3 plus 7 8 plus uh, 4 and the subtraction is correct this is minus 4 the multiplication you can use the multiplication and see that the, the result is the correct and division also is correct do you want continue? We use yes, minus 4 and uh, 7 and it is the summation is 3 minus 11 minus 28 and uh, 4 divided by 7 is that value and the first matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and the second matrix 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and you can run in the MATLAB and see that the, uh, the summation is 10 the subtraction is that one and the multiplication and the division Okay, it was all in this tutorial. See you in next tutorial.